Happy Newsday, oil traders. It is August 9th. It's Wednesday and it's Newsday. It's 8.20 a.m. We're still just over an hour away from markets open here on the East Coast in North America. And news is EIA inventory news at 10.30 Eastern. Um, and unfortunately, API news yesterday at 4.30 didn't really give us much. Um, basically, we dropped about um, 30, 40 cents or so um, after initially spiking. Um, again, not very much, but ultimately we went down. Uh, but ever since uh, Europe came on board for today's trading, we've been climbing back up to the 49 and a half mark where we are right now. And of course, still within the same range as we've been for a week and a half now. So ultimately, it's going to be EIA inventory news today. That's going to be the true mark of where it is that we're going. Are we dropping like a rock or are we running back past um, $51 up to probably $52? Um, as you guys know, uh, I am not changing my targets. Uh, I, you know, looking, pat, looking back over the past week, if we flip over to the seven day chart, um, you know, in my case, there's a lot of missed opportunities, and I think it was just me believing too much in, uh, in being patient and expecting that drop, um, whereas I should have really exited that short position from 49 and a half, you know, several times over. I could have played that exiting below 40, uh, below 49 and then re-entering again, you know, uh, at or above 49 and a half because we've dropped and climbed back up several times now within this range and I could have played this with my position um, for very small um, returns of course but uh, nonetheless it's you know a small return is better than no return and you know hindsight being 2020 it's something that I could have done it's it falls within my rules I just I felt I don't know too too confident apparently in my expectation of a drop and uh, I was proven wrong. Um, you know, fortunately, if news goes in my favor today, that will be really nice because I'll still have that short to profit on. If we climb today as a result of inventory news from EIA, then of course that will be a bunch of opportunities missed um, and just more waiting um, afterwards. If we do climb, of course, um, I'll be looking to enter additional shorts, probably closer to 51, but really it's news day, so I'm just going to be patient, um, waiting at least until Europe closing at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, that's an hour after the news event at 10.30, to decide where to enter. Um, but regardless of which direction we go, it's going to be probably somewhat dramatic. and is going to at least get us out of the range that we've been stuck within um, between 50-50 and around 40, uh, 49 and a half, 48. So that's my expectation, that's what I'm waiting on, and uh, I guess we'll see. we got just over an hour to go, and it should be an interesting one. If you guys uh, have some thoughts of your own that you'd like to share, hit me up down below on uh, YouTube in the comments or over on uh, tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, charts, etc. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys after news and towards end of trading at 4 p.m. Eastern today. Until then, good luck. Cheers.